How is it going guys? Drew Peacock here, back with another video and I am running really late. I was supposed to meet up with my friends at 6.45. It's super early in the morning, the sun isn't even out yet. Um, and I have to drive a little bit to get there and I still have to pack up all my stuff. So I'm going to be trying something new today. If you guys saw me on Instagram, I posted a video with a cool POV of like the car where it looked like Forza. Um, I'm gonna try to do that on this whole cruise. I gotta get all this shit loaded or at least the necessities, I guess, which is this, this, this. No, uh, I don't need any of this. Don't need the microphone because I haven't figured out how to work it yet. Um, yeah, let's just grab all this and let's go to the cruise. I don't know how much I'll be filming at the cruise when I first arrive because I'm late. I still have to go get gas. I'm going to grab something to eat because I am starving. And then I also have to get all this set up. So I don't know how much I'll be recording at the initial spot, but at the drop off spot or the end spot. Um, I'll go ahead and we can look at all the cars and do all that cool stuff, but let's go. Alright, so I hope the camera's in a good spot. I see the lens is dirty, so I'm going to wipe it off right after I stop recording right now, but we're on the cruise. I didn't get to record anything at the, at the initial meetup spot because I was stupid late. My bad, I overslept. I'm not used to waking up at like 6 in the morning. Uh, so I, I messed up there, but there's a lot of cool cars around me. I have the 360 camera behind me, a 720S uh, just rode, rolled by, uh, NSX, we have a GT3 right next to me. There are a lot of crazy cars around. Uh, I don't know if any racing is going to be going on, but I definitely do want to do some because, I mean, let's be honest, I, I haven't raced shit in this car yet, so um, I guess we'll just keep cruising. We'll see if it opens up, and if anyone's down to play, I'm down. So let's see. Let's just enjoy the cars, too. It's a nice day. January 1st. Happy New Year, everyone. Let's enjoy it. Japanese car it's mind-boggling how small it actually is like it looks so cool it looks like a baby R32 up ahead which is adorable like I just see the two little circle taillights so adorable but yeah we're, we're riding through here cruising through here sorry I'm staring at a bunch of motorcycles we're cruising through here um, just enjoying the day still no races yet but I'm eager and horny for one so we'll see what happens I find it so funny because I haven't seen the video yet, but I feel like I'm playing Forza. Like, I haven't even really played much of the new Forza, but I feel like I'm living in Forza right now. We have our little convoy, we're going through, we're on a cruise. It feels like Forza. I mean, how often do you get to drive with a 720, an AZ1, Mark III Supra, M5, Lotus, all these random ass cars. 
it just feels like Forza. And I hope the camera is making it look like Forza. I could totally stick the pole out further, but I don't want it to be hanging off too far with people behind me. I mean, obviously they're not gonna be right on my ass, but I just don't want it that far out. So I have it kind of close, sadly. Um, I, I recorded a little bit earlier, I think yesterday or the day before at night, just messing with it. And I got this cool clip right here that I posted on Instagram. more of a wider angle and it, I feel like I can see a lot more of the car which I think is really cool so but yeah it just feels like I'm in Forza right now um, a great way to start the year honestly just doing a lot of car stuff that's what I plan on doing this year just a lot of car events a lot of car stuff meeting a lot of fans meeting a lot of people that's what I feel like doing this year Alright, so the cruise just finished. Uh, the car did pretty good. The coil pack still needed to get replaced, so it was cutting every once in a while. But uh, it was doing really good. It still felt really fast. We can go ahead and walk around and see all the cars. Um, I forgot to mention, I haven't styled my hair, so I look like ass. But that doesn't matter, because I woke up super early to get you guys content. Be appreciative, please. Little Mercedes group right here. This is one of them threes that was following, keeping up. Big ol' 392, didn't see him. This Lotus sounds pretty wild. I believe this is a subscriber, but check this out. <laughs> Got the Demon Corolla out. Oh yeah, this is the, I figured this was the car. I was like, this has to be it. Nice little spikes. My friend's like, oh, he's gotta put that Corolla on the Oh my God. Like, oh. Dude, it's actually like, <laughs> You yeah. guys did this yourself? Uh, we took it to a, a shop because we don't have a welder. Uh, so we did cut most of the stuff off. Wow. You got the 4x4, four four, the sport badges. Sick. <laughs> All wheel drive. You did that conversion. Limited edition. Fucking sweet. And then, of course, he has the hood pop to show off the mighty four cylinder. Sweet. All right, so we found the owner of the Corolla. He wants to turn it on for me. He said, it is probably the loudest car here. So. Let's go for it. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, you weren't joking it and you pissed them off. <laughs> so, dude, that thing is loud. I could only imagine on like acceleration and shit. It's audible. So, you just cut out the muffler and everything and just uh, cut off the muffler, cut off the resonator and cut off one of the cats. There's still one cat. Oh left. my I god. Last cat, but I'm not going to, so it doesn't blow up. Yeah, no, Jesus Christ. Fuck the warranty, right? <laughs> That's much. fucking funny. Not. Nah. Oh, well, then fuck it, yeah. You know, this thing is hilarious, though. So. Yeah, right? Fuck. I don't know if I've ever said this, but this is my favorite generation GT500. Well, uh, if it was the 1314 rear end, then it would be my favorite. Sorry. I take that back. But still a very clean example of an S197 GT500. Whipple supercharged, is it a gen? It's a gen three. Very similar to my setup. Uh, that's a big pulley. If I had to guess, I'd say on 91, seven, six, 700 horsepower, E85, 800, 900 horsepower, around there. So, very cool. Match that with an A10 and you're flying. Here's this very cool, tiny AZ1. Wow. I don't even think I'd fit in there. The thing is so small. Like, it looks like a little mini GTR from the rear. Mazda, you guys make some of the weirdest shit. Ironically, I didn't have to paint. This thing, 
This thing is so cool and so impractical. God, I could have like four of them in one garage space. This thing is sick. Brand new Mach 1. I don't think I've seen one in person. And I really love these wheels. Uh, for a factory wheel, that's not a bad looking wheel. Color 2 is beautiful. That's a thick tire. I don't know if that's factory because that shit looks kind of tall. I'm um, standing right in the way. Looks really tall, but still a very beautiful car. Look at this custom hot rod. It looks like almost like a keg or like a barrel. That's what I'm guessing is his fuel cell. License plate, smoke them. Big ass tires. Interior custom. We got some little uh, painted on graphics on the dash. We got a little ammo can. This thing is sick. This is a cool little hot rod, rat rod style car, truck. My bad. It's gonna be someone in the comments. If I had to guess, I mean, it looks like a 350, but fuck if I know. I don't know classics. You guys tell me down in the comments. Here we go. Like a Mad Max almost, but I think it's just uh, unfinished. Wow, those seats look really comfortable. Those things are huge. Those things are like lazy boys. This is how I want to do my tail lights actually. So mine are the clear ones. I want them red like that so bad. I'm just gonna take it to a wrap shop and have them wrap them. I'm too lazy to buy new ones. My dad would come if he saw this car. 427 Camaro, blue wood brakes, three piece wheels, Recaro interior, NRG steering wheel. Uh, I don't know about that. Big ass deep dish. One more look at the interior. Super cool. Carbon fiber rear lip and rear bumper thing, I guess. Dude, my dad would love this thing. But the thing is, my dad would love it no matter what engine is in it. He would take it with a fucking four cylinder. He just loves this car. Look at this, fresh out of sideways performance. Stock interior underneath the hood. Jay-Z. That's not the new turbo, right? Like the, the precision? No, 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 that's a comp just like, uh, yeah. like all, all of our old stuff, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's a 62, 62. Wait, what trans is it? Is stock, it? stock auto. It's like a full, like a full uh, sore wow. JZZ30 swap over. This is the most reliable Mercedes ever. <laughs> and I'm saying this as a Mercedes owner. Yeah, I, 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 I saw you get out of yours earlier. Yeah. <laughs> you like, this thing is crazy. Made it work. I'm on my way home now, and even though I was late, not prepared or anything, I still had a great time. It was cool seeing everyone from Sideways Performance again. Haven't seen them in, I think, since like Vegas. So it's been a couple months. So. It, it was really fun. Uh, like I said, I, I love driving. It's what I love to do. I'd rather drive any day of the week than go to a park and show. It, just, it makes me way more happy. It re it's relaxing. It's fun. It's way more enjoyable. So um, I'm going to cruise home. I do see a nice Evo in front of me. If he wants to race, I'll try to get this camera to capture it. I don't know. I, I, I don't have a, a lens finder or whatever they call it, a viewfinder facing me, so I have no idea. But it says LOL sus on the license plate. Oh, let's see if he wants to play. I can hear him, he's loud. Makes noise, sounds cool. to go get breakfast she's upset because I went on the cruise and left her here while she was sleeping are you hungry Why are you recording? because this is the new uh, the new content stuff you hungry you got dressed when I left you were naked no, I'm joking so there's this cocky Hellcat right here Paper plates, brand new, fresh off the lot. Boy thinks he's quick.
It's a E85 full bolt on. You want to go on the freeway? Uh, okay. So this might make like 650 wheel, but it weighs like 2,000 pounds. So. <laughs> so, yeah. So I asked him if he wants to go on the freeway, and he said no. Um, it is a red eye. time outside so I'm filming my outro right now literally went home and just fucking felt like a sack of potatoes was great slept for a few hours I actually figured out why my lens was so dog shit the whole time the dirt wasn't on the lens it was behind it so this lens isn't serviceable but this guy on YouTube and this is a great idea drilled holes in the side of it so you can get a q-tip in there and clean it um, the way the lens is designed it has a protective cap over that so it's like at least now I can clean it and no dirt can directly go in, but more dirt will eventually directly go in. So maybe I'll just look into upgrading. But anyways, today was really fun. I can't wait for the McLaren to get its new coil packs. The Honda build will be starting this week, hopefully. I just need to get all the other little parts. I'm gonna try to do that all this week and then we can start pulling the motor out of the Honda. Nate is pulling his motor right now, ironically too. So we're gonna have a little mini race to see who can pull their motor the fastest. Anyways guys, Hopefully you did enjoy this video. If you did, please let me know down below. Subscribe to see more videos like this one. And until next video, peace.